Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to be continuing my little series um, of turning Norway spruce uh, Christmas trees into bonsai trees. Uh, this is one that I've been doing for a little while now. I, um, I started the series, if you look at the playlist, um, trying to do uh, this, you know, trying to create a tree with a much bigger, larger Christmas trees, um, which haven't worked out quite so well. But certainly, starting with the smaller Norway spruce trees, you can get something that's fairly reasonable fairly quickly. Okay, so here's one of my larger Christmas tree to bonsai tree specimens. Um, as you can see, this is a normal full-size drinks can. Um, the tree is uh, maybe 18 inches tall. Um, I have started pinching back these candles, although they've not all broken yet. Um, it is showing typical apical dominant dominance um, by growing more at the top than at the bottom um, so it's going to be a question of over the next few weeks with this tree um, because I'm fairly happy with its form it just needs refining that as these candles start to break I will just be uh, it's just a question of getting hold of them and just giving a gentle tug and the end will come away and just like pruning any sort of tree, uh, whether it be a maple or a elm or ash tree, um, where you've pinched away the growing tips, the tree will back bud um, and flush out some more young growth. It's slightly, not quite as forgiving, but uh, the trick with these I find is to get the roots down into a pot and a healthy set of roots and then you can work on the top um, so I'm just continuing to get into this domed domed shape um, and if I can zoom in on this point here um, you should be able to see I hope at least that the uh, fresh new bud is just only just opening there so this is a job that is going to be spread out over two or three weeks um, going around the tree as I say pinching out the shoots before they elongate too far out of alignment the overall shape that I want this one's grown uh, maybe an inch so I'm just gonna shorten it back to maybe a quarter of an inch and uh, I shall just go around the tree and I'll spend 10 minutes a day on this over the next few weeks as these candles break um, and open and elongate just pinching them back bringing the tree or keeping the tree in this basic shape and size that I want causing each of these pads to sort of fill out and become more full and more interesting. So just shortening away. Okay, so as you can see here at the back, a lot of the shoots haven't begun to elongate particularly much yet. Um, obviously gets a little bit less a little bit less sun so they are still quite diddy um, but they'll need to be plucked in a couple of uh, in a week or two okay so let's have a look at some of the others that I've got slightly smaller ones eventually you end up with a little bit of debris like this um, but that can just go in the compost bin Okay, so it's probably about my smallest. Um, I actually cut the, the original 
growing point off. Um, it's probably a foot or so tall um, and wired up the first branch to become the new trunk and new leader. And uh, again, it's a question of I'm building that triangle. I'm building pads on these branches. Um, they have been wired into position. And I'm not entirely happy with this pot. I think it would look better in a nice dark unglazed chocolate brown pot but I didn't have one to hand and um, I wanted to put it into a small pot rather than a, a larger seed tray so I'll give you a quick 360 of that again this is a tree that's going to be getting um, some attention over the next few weeks as I pluck these candles okay so this one um, I'm not going to be doing much in the way of plucking on uh, I think this was the one that I got for um, from a Christmas market the year before last um, and I have got it into a nicer bonsai pot now and I might put some wire on it later in the year but I'm just going to let the candles grow let it grow healthy strong um, and then I'll be looking at wiring it into a more of a triangle shape um, later in the year so I'll give you another quick 360 of that one. All these are, um, you know, Norway um, fir. Norway fir, is that right, what I'm calling them? Yeah, I believe so. Here's a slightly larger one again. Um, this is in a more traditional bonsai style, uh, in that it's been wired, first branch, second branch, back branch, and so on. Um, Again, it's going to need plucking over the next few weeks. It doesn't appear quite as healthy as the last few that I've shown you in that the leaves are a paler green. Um, so, but I think once it gets growing and gets some feed into it and wakes up, it will be, um, it will soon perk up. I mean, it, otherwise in all other aspects, it seems quite a healthy tree. It's got quite a nice, interesting nabari not classically beautiful um, but interesting um, radial pattern it seems to be really gripping the earth and uh, holding on for all its life slightly leaning to one side perhaps as if it had been blown but uh, yeah, an interesting little tree. Again, only been in training two years maximum and uh, is already beginning to show some promise, I believe. This is my favorite at the moment. Um, it's been in training maybe five years. Again, it was a uh, you know, little pound fifty tree from a Christmas market. Um, here is the front. Don't know why I showed you the back first. Um, but yeah, here is the front. And again, it's going to be a question of plucking, plucking, plucking over the next few weeks, trying to keep this triangular shape. Um, it may need a bit of wiring later in the year, um, possibly even a bit of pruning as this branch is trying to. In fact, I'm going to take off this branch that's trying to obscure the trunk right now I think that helps um, yeah so I'm, I, you know a few little bits this trunk uh, this branch may need to be wired down just a little bit just to give it a bit of air in movement in this plane um, but other than that doing well I think it'll keep me busy plucking away Okay, so here's the largest one at the moment um, and it's nowhere near as advanced as uh, the other trees. If I move you in a bit closer, you should be able to see that the buds are about to burst, but not quite ready to pop open yet. And I think that's because it's been in this, this shadier area of the garden. Um, and hopefully it'll catch up. I may move it into a sunnier part. Um, 
once I'm happy it's growing strongly and that the roots are filling that pot and uh, we'll see how that then goes. It does seem to me that there's a lesson in this is that the smaller ones are much easier to turn into bonsai trees quickly. Um, certainly I had a larger one than this and that died a death quite quickly. So yeah, get, get yourself a smaller one. Okay, so this is a slightly different species of Christmas tree. This is an Amorica, which I'd never heard of, but they were selling them in the local supermarket for five pounds for this tree that's about two and a half foot tall. And uh, all I'm doing with it for this year is letting it grow in its pot because it was a field grown tree that was put in a pot and it had very little root. So I'm just hoping it's going to grow fit and well and fill that pot with roots this year um, and that will make it a much happier tree to be worked on next year. So that's about it for this video folks. So thank you all for watching. Please please take care of yourselves. Stay safe.